What's up, fam? It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood, and we're back on the IE Network, and this is the Heaven Hollywood Report, and let's get to it. Shout out to my sponsor, in case you didn't know, that's icydk.blog. Please make sure you check them out on mobile devices and the World Wide Web. Uh, please, before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, so you don't miss one video. Let's go. Drake, Drake wants y'all to know, ladies, he's out here and he is single and ready to mingle. He wanted to make sure he added that on. I believe he said, this is my first time I've been on tour when I didn't have a girl in a long time. I believe he said, and he just wants y'all ladies to know he's single and ready to mingle. I'm so glad I'm single on this tour because I just I just don't have to feel guilty at all. Imagine if I was like married or some shit and girls were just hitting me in the face with just titty assaults every night and shit. How would I go home and explain that to everybody? I'm so glad I'm single. Ready to mingle, by the way. Ready to mingle, by the way. Drake, I hate to break this to you, brother. Why, yes, you're very rich and a lot of women still dig you. You see you getting hit with the bras and stuff every night. But it's not like that they don't they don't believe that you're going to settle down anytime soon. So yeah, sure. If you want to fly somebody out and trick on them and stuff like that and you know bang them for a while, yeah, that that'll work for you, but uh, right now, there aren't many women taking you serious. You, know, you popped up with the nail polish, and yeah, I'm sorry, Drake. You know, I just not there's not a lot of women left. You're letting all the women get away that that you that are wifey material. And I would think that you would start wanting to think about wifey material at some point. You're almost you're kicking forties door down. So, but hey, when you're rich, you can do what you want, I guess. Speaking of rich and doing what they want, Kylie Jenner and Timothy Chalamet made it official. They were seen together uh, uh, publicly for the first time over the weekend uh, at the Beyonce Renaissance Tour. The long rumored couple made things seemingly official when they attended Beyonce's Renaissance Concert in Los Angeles. And judging by their night full of PDA, they have taken the opening line of Beyonce's song, Cuff It, Rather seriously, I feel like falling in love, falling in love. People said it. Chris Gardner tweeted, mark your calendars on Beyonce's 42nd birthday. Timothy uh, Chalamet and Chris and Kylie Jenner made their public debut at SoFi Stadium to see Bay's Renaissance stop on September 4th. Where's their smoke? Where there's smoke, there's fire. And they see him actually smoking. Um... I think, yes, she wanted to come out and, and make it a spectacle on Beyonce's birthday. I also think that Kylie watches Kendall a lot, and she saw how Kendall and Bad Bunny was all kissed up and hugged up, and it seemed like she was almost in the same position, trying to get in the same position, trying to have him behind her, like how Bad Bunny was behind Kendall. I see your ass, Kylie. <laughs> so um, let me know what y'all think of these two as a couple. Are these two going to make it? How you think Kylie Jenner, you think she's she's uh pushing away for black? But I tell you, boy, you black men out there, you just pushing all the white women away. <laughs> white women are saying, nah, we don't want no more of them. Kim started dating um uh what's his name? They just can't run Chloe off, boy. Chloe just do not want to get up off of that BBC. Kylie's with the white guy now. Courtney, you know, Courtney ain't never messed with us. <laughs> Only one still rocking with us is Chris and Chloe. <laughs> Shout out. Let me know what y'all think of Kylie Jenner and Timothy Chalamet. Moving on, and I just can't with this woman anymore. I'm getting emotional already. Beyonce's birthday. Happy birthday again to you, Beyonce. Diana Ross was out there singing happy birthday to Beyonce. And just look at... Just look at the, the joy. Look how overwhelmingly happy Beyonce is to see Diana Ross and the things she had to say to Diana Ross. This is why she's the 
queen of music. Catch myself, guys. So I apologize. Does it get any better than that? Does it get any better than that? Beyonce, here is Beyonce, the biggest name in music right now. And she does what all of the legends and OGs just ask the younger people who are making Three times the money that they've made, but they opened the doors for them to make this money. And it just breaks my heart how these younger dudes treat the older uh, rappers. You know, how the younger female rappers, the first rapper like like Sala Rock and Roxanne Shante, how they had to much pretty much make their own way after they opened the doors for everyone else to make millions. And for Beyonce to say this, thank you for opening doors. Jay said the same thing to Rakim. Thank you for your sacrifice and your grace and your beauty. For opening doors for people like me. There'd be no me without you. That is amazing. Beyonce right now can do no wrong. You know, and anybody trying to, to insult her, what have you, 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 just, you just got no life. And finally, we're going to close it out with the WAP sisters, Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion. So the song Bongos that dropped Friday, it has been said that the song features just two writers, Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion. So that means that this is not the song that they have Candy Shop with the song The 50 Cent Feature. Why? Because then, you know, the producer on that song was Scott Storch, and 50 Cent was a writer. So it just says the writers are Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B. So this is not going to be the 50 Cent song. Uh, the 50 Cent song, as you know, was a few months old. And I thought maybe they just went in and updated it, but this is a totally different song. So that means they got another song out there. Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion coming with bongos. What do y'all think this song's going to do? I asked y'all before. Well, nobody want to answer me. What y'all think this song going to do? <laughs> Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion coming Friday. Just the two writers, and it's not the uh, Candy Shop song. I'm going to probably get a listen to the song tomorrow. <sighs> Hopefully, my man comes through for me. I'll probably listen. To, I'll probably get it tomorrow. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends.